as of yesterday, there were about 300 U.S. citizens who were still there who wanted to get out of the deadline. Do you have an update on that number? Are we still looking at 300 waiting to get out? Is it down to 150? Is it down to zero? What Absolutely. Um, well, I know my State Department colleagues will have a more specific up-to-date number, but let me give you an update of where things stand at this point. Of those who self-identified as Americans in Afghanistan considering leaving the country since August 14th, we have thus far received confirmation that about 6,000 have been evacuated or otherwise departed. This number will likely continue to grow as our outreach and arrival says continue, and we have been providing, as you know, regular updates to all of you on evacuations. The initial assessment, if we go back to August 14th, was that there were fewer than 6,000 Americans in Afghanistan who wanted to get out. So as we conveyed at the time, we knew that there could be an option, one, that people who had registered had already departed, or that people had registered had not deregistered, or that there would be additional people who came forward. And we believe there are still a small number. I understand you're exact asking for the exact number who remain. We're trying to determine exactly how many, and we're going through manifests and calling and texting through our lists, and we'll have more of a concrete number for you as soon as possible. Part of the challenge uh, with fixing a precise number is that there are longtime residents of Afghanistan, as we've talked about in here, with American passports, dual citizens, the vast majority, who are, who are still trying to determine if they want to leave or not, or have been over the last couple of days. In some instances, in many instances, that's because they have many family members there, but they have a range of reasons, and we've been working with them to assess that. Hey, thanks for watching Bloomberg Quick Take Now. Subscribe to our channel to see the biggest stories the moment they happen from around the world. And tune in to our 24-7 live stream for global news coverage, documentaries, interviews, deep dives, and shows on the stories that you care most about.